Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from MyJS Electronics and I hope you enjoyed the little intro that we did in the beginning of the video and it's pretty much showing you what we are, we are going to work today and that is basically latching and delatching our start button. So and to do that, there's a couple of ways to do that and uh, the one that we are going to be progressing today in our manual, which is my, my personal study manual where I study Utsubishi GX Works and this is the instruction we're going to be working with. That's the set and a reset. And before we get started with the reset and the reset, uh, we are going to uh, try a different way and there's another way to do that. And that's the first one we're going to try out. So let's load, uh, load up our project. And to first, uh, the first way to do it is by just latching the Y. And to how can you do that? I'll show, show you now. So if we watched the last video, remember X3 is our start. Uh, start. So uh, and then we're gonna create a Y for our oop, for our coil. Y zero was a uh, run uh, forwards. So uh, we do that. Why is he in? Oh, yeah, I forgot that in uh, for words. So if you see now, if you click X three, nothing's well. It will run forward, but once you release it, it will just go and stop. So uh, let's say for that one. So to uh, latch it, it's quite simple. But before we get latch it, we need to create a stop signal. So to create stop signal, it has to be a normally closed contact. So obviously that uh, when we break it, it will uh, break the circuit. So it's like a normal DOL starter. For that, we need to create a normally closed contact. And remember our stop button. Oh no, you don't remember. We didn't use stop button last yesterday, last time. So that will be X X4. X4 is being wired to our stop button as normally open contact. So just bear that in mind. So, uh, and in here, as you can see now, if you compile it, when I click the uh, X3, this line in here, that means the power is able to go through. So continuously be able to through as long as you uh, the X3 is pushed. So, but once we push the X3 and let it go again, the whole system will stop. So. Uh, to latch it, we need to send, when this guy is on, create that as a contact in here, so that will be receiving the power and running it, holding it in. To do that, if you go for the F5, so we're gonna call that Y0 contact. That will latch to it, and as you can see now, uh, let's F for it. When I click X3, I will demonstrate in a minute live as well. And X3 power goes through it, it turns this guy on, it means this guy comes on as well. So that means now, if you let the X3 go, the power is able to travel in here and keep the Y held in. So, and let's create that for the reverse as well. So let's go in here. So um, uh, let's go X. If you remember how we inter if you watched the last video, uh, you will know uh, how we uh, interlocked to make sure these guys don't uh, turn on at the same time. So we're gonna call that X4. Uh, there you go. So and then it's gonna be uh, Y0. Oh no, not Y0. Uh, we need to change that to Y1. Let's do this so we can ask for comments right away. Uh, Y1. And then we're going to call that as a run reverse. I don't know if it's spelled correctly. So, and obviously for, for that, we need to create a coil down here as well. So, let's do that. And we're going to call that as Y1. Okay, thank you very much. And now we need to interlock it. Remember, for last video, we are going to be creating a interlock. So uh, first is going to be we are going to be doing X five. Five, and I called it last time as our process uh, button. Process. Ooh. There we go. And uh, for here, we're going to give normally open contacts. So, oop, we, we need to name it. 
that's going to be x5. And here we go, let's compile it. And let's send it into the R controller. So that's that, that's that, and that's that. Execute. Yes, thank you. There you go, that is inside the controller. Let's restart the controller. Yes, thank you. Uh, close, close. So now that is in the controller. So let's go for the monitor mode. Remember this guy in here is our monitor mode. That's pretty much telling you the first uh, the first uh, switch is going to work. Uh, the first uh, sequence is going to work is this guy because you can see the power is able to go through. So and this guy can't work because the X5 is not on. So uh, let's enlarge this one. Oh, like something like that. So we can all see what we are doing and uh, let's uh, go to the let's go to the actual uh, station and uh, try it out. So for the station, let's have a look how that works. So now when we click the uh, start button, the system will go forward. And as you can see on the screen itself, that uh, the Y0 has been latched on. And you can actually see how the power is flowing with all the blues. So this is very basically how the whole contact is working. So and if we click the stop button, as you can see, the stop button uh, came on and it broke the circuit and the whole system stopped. And uh, if you want to go a uh, uh, backwards, so we just uh, turn on our X5. As you can see, the X5 swap positions now. So now, as you can see, the path for X04 and X05. So this is where the power is going to be able to flow now. So if you click uh, the start again, so the, as you can see, the Y0 has come on and the whole system is going backwards and this is pretty much how you would uh, create this uh, uh, type of a, a latched uh, circuit so next let's jump in how we can do all that with sets and resets and for the sets and resets so this is what we need to do let's do some modifications we no longer gonna need a uh, uh oh let's get it out of this guy we no longer gonna need a stop button in here so uh let's Modify our program just a tid. So let's just do that. That might be four. So uh, let's fill that in. So X5, we're going to keep them in there. And we're no longer going to need these wires in here. So uh, let's just remove them. And remove them. So now this would be, let's say, this would be our starting position. Let's F4 that. So there we go. So to set it in. Uh, we need to change that to this guy, which is, as you can see, application instruction. So it's going to become as an instruction. So we click instruction and for the set. The set pretty much is pretty much going to hold it in as it receives. So set. And then we're going to say, what are we setting? So we're going to be setting Y0. And press OK. Run forwards. It does correct. And F for that. And we're going to do exactly the same to this guy. So we're going to say a set y1 so this way it will set the y1 so f for it so and now we need to reset that and to reset that is quite straightforward so we're just gonna do the x5 x4 so we're gonna take our a x4 signal which is gonna be x4 uh did we name it last time x4 no we didn't so stop X4 is going to be our stop button, and for that we need another instruction, which is a straightforward. We need to reset it. So R, oop, R S T, and we're going to reset the Y0, Y0, and we also need to reset the Y1. So we need to create another instruction for that. So uh, we are going to be uh, choosing this guy in here, the quick way to do it, and drag a line down. And we're going to put another coil and we're going to call it a RSTY1. So there you go. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. That will be a uh, pretty much what we just did before, just this way. So that's how this is working this way. So because we, we with the four, we're going to be stopping uh, both of them. There's no need to put the X's and uh, in the X5s in there. So as long as there's no way we can start it. Stopping doesn't matter because all both of them would work the same way anyway. So let's lo load it in the right to the PLC. Execute. Yes, thank you very much. 
Come on. There you go. Close. Close. And the next thing we're going to do, we are going to go and check it out on our station. So on our station, let's put a on a monitoring again. As you can see, this is what it looks like now. And as it says down there, well, both resets are the priorities. So that's are pretty much there now. So let's press start. Let's first change that one first. Let's go forwards. As you can see, we are going forwards. And a system is showing you that the Y has been set. And by clicking the stop button, it will send a reset to the Y0 uh, and we'll reset the Y0 and see if you flip the switch and we click that and as you can see down here if the Y1 is a set and all we need to do now is press stop and it will reset the uh, Y1 as well now that's how pretty much set and reset works if you choose to go uh, the set reset way for that latching your circuit and having that ladies and gentlemen that is it for set and reset hopefully it uh, you have understood it and uh, it is a sort of giving you a good understanding how they work and uh, the next what we're going to be doing we're going to be jumping on to let's have a look what's on agenda for the next video it's going to be a timer so we're going to be doing timers next in a next video so definitely tune in for that so other than that ladies and gentlemen if you like that video please smash that like if you didn't smash the dislike comment below what you like what you don't like and uh, any questions that you have regarding this process or anything else do definitely comment them in description and oh no in description in in uh, comments below any related manuals and especially this manual that i am using and uh, anything else i uh, believe that would uh, help you in another way will be in a description below so i haven't said that thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video